Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bo. I wanted to apologize in advance. I'm sniffling a lot in this video and I can't edit it out. So just wanted to let y'all know, it's just allergies. I'm not sick, it's not COVID, I'm fine. And I thank you all so much for hanging out with me. So, you know, stuff like this, it's a Kathy Bo thing. I mean, I'm just gonna roll with it. So come on over and let's see what we're making tonight. I promise it's gonna be fun. So a couple of cool things. Um, I am participating in the business development program with um, Stampin' Up! And I'm kind of excited because um, this is my third round, y'all. Three. Hey, Lisa. So yeah, third round. And um, they just help us to, you know, reach some goals that we're trying to reach and stuff like that. And it's really cool because they're going to... Um, they're going to um, help me do some things that I'm trying to do. So you guys are probably going to be a little part of that because a lot of it's my um, my my lives and stuff. Okay, so I want to show y'all a couple of things. I'm y'all. I've been in the house for over a year, and I mean, when I say in the house, we go out a very little bit. But you know, it's just yeah, pandemic. Okay, and. You know, mask, no mask, shot, no ma no shot, whatever. But y'all, my girls from Savannah are getting together and they go to uh, town just about an hour from me and that's about five hours from them and we do a retreat each a um, couple of times a year. Well, I went last March just before my surgery on my shoulder and then, you know, the world shut down and, um, I did not go in the fall. Well, I'm going, I'm going on Thursday and I'm just, you know, I, I'm just, I'm tired of, of not going, but I want to show y'all I've been packing. Oh, y'all it's showing my pictures now. Oh, that big bag there is my We Are Memory Keepers rolling tote. And then the little tote on the bottom kind of to the left front is a Stampin' Up! tote. And then the checkered one, checkered one is also Stampin' Up! That's for my big shot. And this is inside the big tote. I've got some stamps in there. I've got my markers. That floral thing is also a Stampin' Up! Um, zipper thing. And it's got all kinds of tools in it. Um, my cutting um, trimmer thing is on the top and you see my little brushes y'all have seen me use those on my videos and my stamparatus is there as well as a misty tool i'm taking both just because the misty has some um magnets in it that i want to take with me and that white box right there beside the flowery one is my heat embossing stuff and on the very bottom on the left is my little bitty stamping cut and embossing machine so there you go y'all how about that how about it okay so all right this is my host code gcsnwsmd okay we need a vowel i know i'm like please stick a vowel in there or two um all right so i was gonna show you everything i got in my pre-order but guess what? I've already packed it. So I'm going to show you this. This is one of the items. And I've got a video I'm going to load onto my Kathy Bohan and Creatively Blessed Facebook page. And it's where my grand girls are helping me unload the box. So you'll get to see everything, just not on the live video now. This spiral die, y'all, is so cool. Um, all right. I have already and, and yes, I stuck it to the back of the to the to the back of the thingamajig because I had already put my um my stamp my um stamparatus. I'd already packed it, y'all. So I'm like, well, I've gotta have something to stick it on. 
and I decided to use that, but I also have this huge block from Stampin' Up! so we can use this, okay? And I'm just going to show you something cool. A couple of things. Oh, hey, Michelle. I'm so glad you're here. I'm just showing this neat spiral die um, stamp, and I'm going to load a video of my unboxing of all the cool things. Um, Y'all, I wanted it to be a little kind of bright colors, so I'm using Magenta Madness, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Coastal Cabana, and this one is expired, not expired, but it's retired, and it is called Pineapple Punch, okay? But I like the bright yellow, and I hadn't packed it yet, so I'm like, hey, hey, let's use it. So here's what we're going to do. Um, let me see exactly what I want, what colors I want where. I think I want to start with the dark color there first. And y'all, we're going to use a brayer. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know if I've used a brayer in a while, y'all. In a while. Now, did I cut my paper yet? No, I did not. So hold on. Everybody hold, hold your horses. All right, I got to cut this paper. I'm just going to zing it through here, y'all. I don't even know what size. I'm just doing this, okay? Because I'm thinking, yep, how about that? You'd think I've done this before, maybe once or twice. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, all right. It's really kind of too big, but it's okay. So I'm going to take a sponge. I just, I had a, I had a sponge from Stampin' Up, and I cut it up. And, y'all, we're doing this tonight, and we're also doing my paper pumpkin. Because I've packed most everything, and then after I packed it up, I told Ninja Man, I said, oops, I packed everything, except I did not pack, boom, 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 my scary dental tool. Have not packed that yet. So I'm just going to go around like this, and just kind of get a little bit out of, out of line, a little. And, and I'm using these sponges because... I've, um, you know, I packed all my stuff, okay? This is the gorgeous grape. That was Magenta Madness. So we're just, we're going to put a little gorgeousness on it. A little gorgeous. See the gorgeous right there? Come on now. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, that's, mm, that's pretty, pretty, pretty grapey right there, if you ask me. Pretty grapey, y'all. Now, when you're doing something like this, you don't want your um, ink to dry. So you kind of, after a minute or two, you're going to want to um, kind of huff on it, you know. And I know that's weird, but hey, you do what you got to do, y'all. You do what you got to do. Remember when we used to wear heels and hose? We did what we had to do, right? Well, we're doing that again without all the pain, all right? And the clear fingernail polish because of the runs, right? If you, if, if now, if, if we get the runs, it's a totally different thing. Totally different. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Should not have pointed that out, but I'm just saying. All right. So this doesn't look very dark, but I bet we're going to get some good color. All right. Y'all need to move so I can get some more colors. I don't want to take time to close them, but I have to. Um, y'all, I was going to wait until March, I mean, May to do this little feature but I decided, since I'm going on my retreat, and I'm getting the second vaccine on Monday, and could probably die right there, right? Okay. I figured I'd go ahead and show y'all, um, or rather tell y'all, what I was going to start. Well, I was going, this This is the uh, Coastal, is it Coastal Cabana? Yes. Um, I'm going to start this little thing tonight. Stuff I've learned this week. Okay, yeah. Hey, you can teach an old dog new tricks. You can. Because um, here I am, and I've learned stuff, y'all. So, all right. Tonight, this very night, I, oh, what did I just do? Oh, now we want the yellow. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. This very night, y'all, I have learned that when a dog is whining its head off and it's trying to tell you something, you really need to listen. And y'all, this is all about a chicken wing. My dog and my chicken wing. I'm, I kid you not. So, okay, y'all know Sir Winston Poops a lot is my uh, little Boston Terrier. 
All right, hold on. I got I got to huff on it. Oh, hey, Angela. I'm, I'm just breathing. Look at the little picture. I'm just doing that. And that kind of kind of re re moistens it or whatever you want to call it. I hate that word. Okay. I'm going to let oh poop. All right, hold on. I'm going to lay this down like this. All right. Then I'm going to take my brayer and I'm going Now I ha I have no idea how this is going to look, y'all. I don't know. It's it's like the first time tonight that I'm doing this. Okay, so my new my new feature what I learned this week. And every week y'all going y'all going to find out what I've learned because y'all I keep learning stuff. Let's look at this. Look how awesome. I'm sorry. Did I yell? I did. I did. Y'all, come on now. How do you like it? Isn't that the coolest thing? I love this. And, and I use these bright colors. And I mean, it's not all about me. It's about this gorgeous stamp, y'all. Look at that. Now, you don't have to have this block. You can get the same effect. Let me clean it. I had to bring out my... Uh-oh. I better close these because y'all know how this is going to go. Yes, Michelle. Isn't it cool? And you can trim it down. I'm going to trim it down and show y'all what we're going to do with it. Um, But because I packed my stuff for the retreat, the Grateful Dead technique. Indeed it is. Oh, look, how, look at that, y'all. That, I mean, really, th this could be an art piece that I could sell. I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay, y'all. So here's the story about the chicken wing and the dog. Now, first of all, no bones in the chicken are involved. Okay. No animals were harmed during this lesson that I learned, a life lesson that I learned. Okay. I was sitting here at my desk because I've had a lot tonight. I've had a Zoom meeting. I've had I've had several scheduled things that I had to do. I had a um, phone meeting with Stampin' Up, and um, and then I had tonight, you know, get together tonight. Now I'm just I'm just going to see how if I got all my ink off, y'all. Hold on. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna pat it down a little bit, make sure it's it's not wet. Okay, and your little block it. It's going to stain, but that's okay. Nobody died. Not about this. I mean, maybe people did, but um, yes, save the huggy for some. I should have. Okay, yeah, so I got it good and clean. Just a little smudgy smudge right there, but y'all, I love this. Gosh, so cool. Okay, so I want to show you something. Yes, this is a huge block from Stampin' Up, and it is block F, okay, and it is six inches by five inches, five by six. I don't usually use that block that often, but I'll tell you what, y'all, when you have a block that big, take your stamp out of your case, stick it on the back, and use it just like this, boom, boom, boom. You know, you may or may not get as good of an image, but it's going to work. The other thing is, when you have a stamp this big, don't put the sticky on it, okay? If you don't put the sticky on it, then you'll just be putting the stamp directly down on your table. That, I would say, would be your go-to um, way to do it if you don't have the F block, F as in Frank, okay? So you would leave the sticker off, and you just set it directly down on your table, ink it up, Put your card stock on it, doodly do, and boom, you're a hero, right? Okay. So back to the chicken wing. So y'all, I was busy. Ninja Man was feeding me like because he, he had to fix me stuff to eat because I was in here working. Well, lo and behold, you know, when you got a chicken wing or two, the dogs are gonna at least, you know, they're gonna give you a lot of attention, right? Well, I have two dogs, but anyway, one of them, she, she's just happy with getting something, anything, and she's not, she's just not overly excited about what she's not getting, okay? Well, and I really should be measuring this, um, five and a quarter, well, this would be fine, um, but Winston, on the other hand, y'all, Winston, 
Oh, hey, Chris. Isn't this the cutest thing? Look at this. So, um, yeah. So I'm eating my chicken wings because I could have like um, six or seven wings for, I don't know, very few carbs. And, um, I really didn't know I was going to make this card, y'all. So hold on, because we're going to make it. We are going to, I can do this. It's the Melon Mambo. I just bought it. I just got my Melon Mambo, y'all. So, um, I'm eating my chicken wings. I'm going to get this out. I'm eating my chicken wings. And the dogs, you know, they're, th we, we just got these chicken wings at Costco. And they're frozen. And there's a lot of fat on them, so I'm, like, not eating the fat part, okay? And I'm putting the fat part on my plate because I'm thinking the dogs are going to love this. Little did I know, my bottom drawer right here, y'all, right here, my bottom drawer was open a wee bit. Uh, who would care, right? Why, why would that even matter, okay? Well, I gave them the little pieces of fat that I didn't eat. And there was, you know, there were some big chunks of fat. It's gross, but there was. But the dogs are just like, yes, yes. And they're looking up manna from heaven, you know, and they're having all this. Okay. And I'm not eating the fat, and they are, and they think it's wonderful. Well, here we go. Winston, Sir Winston poops a lot is his name. Sir Winston poops a lot is crying. And he's crying and crying and crying. And I'm, I'm just like, stop. like, it got on my nerves so bad. I had to send him packing, y'all, packing. And then Ninja Man even had to take him out in the yard because he was driving me slap nuts. And y'all know that's a short trip. Like, we don't even have to buy gas to drive me nuts. I'm halfway there. I'm halfway there 24-7. Okay. All right. So let me, let's see. Let's see how we like this, y'all. Oh, look at this. Isn't this going to be cute? Y'all, I didn't even know I was going to make this. Okay, so, so Winston, I so seriously didn't know I was going to make it because I don't even have a, a card base. Hold on, I've packed them all. I've packed them. So Winston is just flipping out, and Ninja Man takes him outside, and he walks him around, which we live out in the country, and I'm just saying they walk together. He didn't have to put a leash on them or anything. So they go out, and they're doing their thing. And Ninja Man brings Winston back in, and Winston starts to howling again. These, these are things I have learned this week. Winston comes back in here, and he's, he's just unbelievable. And at this point, I have closed said drawer. Y'all probably figuring out what happened now. I've closed the drawer, and Winston is staring at the drawer with such hope in his eyes. It was, it was almost pitiful, almost. I'm going to trim this down just a wee because I want to be able to see the white card. Uh-oh, come on now, let go. Hold on. All right. And y'all, I opened that drawer and there sat the biggest, fattest chunk of chicken wing fat I think I've ever seen. And I thought, what in the wild world of sports? And Winston looks up at me like, I have been trying to tell you for two hours that you had a piece of chicken wing in your drawer. And sure enough, I did. And he ate it. And he was so happy to get it. And you know what he did after that? He had to take a nap. He was exhausted, y'all. That poor dog was exhausted. He had been, he had honestly been absolutely obsessing over that chicken wing. And who could blame him, y'all? Who could blame him? So I learned when the dog starts acting like that, he's probably got a good reason, and we just need to listen. You know, we just need to listen. All right, here we go. I'm, I could get this out of the way because it's a little distracting. Y'all, I even packed my big shot. And I say big shot because, okay, I also packed my uh, mini stamping, cut, and emboss machine. The little guy packed him, packed my big shot, and y'all know my story about the Big Shot. I don't think I need to buy a new one just because they came out with one, right? I, I mean, I'd like to have it, but I also, I also uh, want to be a good steward of my blessings. So 
just buying it because it's there is not a really good idea. Okay, I want y'all to measure stuff. Don't do like I'm doing. All right, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to have a cute little card, y'all. Look at this. I love it. I love it. How do y'all like it? Now, I could just bring it on down, but I'm not going to. Okay, and we are just going to go like this. Come on now. I'm using my um my Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue. Boop. And you know, it doesn't really matter how it goes, does it? It does not really matter how it goes. Okay, I need for y'all to know a couple of things. First of all, the clearance rack has been updated and added to and all that stuff today. And um they've they've got a lot of stuff on the clearance rack. Okay, so here's your sweet little card for a teenager or whoever. I mean, it's just a fun card. You can put some, you know, you put a ribbon on here or a sentiment. Um, so many things you could do. I'd probably go with the uh, circular something with a little sentiment there. Um, hi, Dana. Love that stamp. I have to buy it with my next order. Yes, indeed, you do. You're going to need it. It is called the Spiral Die. Hang on. Spiral die. Boop. Item number 156927. So, yeah. And I love the bright colors. Um, you're going to look on Pinterest and you'll see that people have been using new in colors, y'all. And here they are. I want to tell y'all about this. Uh, my friend Barbara, who's in a stamping group, um, we're, there's five of us in a particular group anyway, Love our group. Love, love, love our group. We met through Stampin' Up. But here we go. I want to show y'all what... Come on now, y'all. Look. Okay. This is one. It's evergreen. Evening evergreen. And I know I don't have all the letters on there, but it's okay. Um, these are the new in colors. Pale papaya. Now, let me sh let me tell y'all how I did this. I bought the blank, the, the blank Stampin' Uh, little dot things, whatever they're called. And I used, because my friend suggested this, I used ink and just put it on these. And I think, Lisa, don't you do it this way as well? Because Barbara told me about it, and I think you told me also. And you just ink up these. And this is for the end colors. Now, if it was going to be a permanent um, item in the catalogs, I would... I would buy the bigger stamp set. This is Fresh Freesia, and this one is Soft Succulent. So these colors are our new 2021 to 2023 in colors. Aren't they pretty? They go so well. Yes, I thought Lisa had told me as well, and um, Barbara does this as well. And it's just, it's a great economical way to get all the stamps, I mean, all the inks, and, you know, you just keep refilling. And and all you got to do is just um, just add a little extra ink, you know, if they start getting dry or whatever. But all you got to do is just ink like that, you know. It just takes an extra minute. Okay, y'all. So I wanted to share that with you. I want to tell you what I learned about the chicken wings and my dog. And I want to tell you about my um, my trip I'm taking. I'm going on Thursday. I'm coming home on Monday. And um, now I want to show you this month's paper pumpkin. It was late coming in. Let me tell you why. I had two. I had my, my debit card and a credit card compromised. And it was so weird um, what people charged on it. They charged like like fraternity fees and stuff like that. I, I don't even know. Like a fraternal order of somebody fees. I don't know. Um, anyway, so I had to cancel those cards. Well, of course, I spent the next couple of weeks trying to remember, you know, looking up my statements and all that to try to remember which auto charges I had on those cards. One of them was Stampin' Up's Paper Pumpkin, but guess what? I didn't catch it until after they tried to charge my card. Now, y'all need to know this. It would, of course, they said your card was declined. And I'm like, well, that was the one. Oh, Michelle, it did. Yeah. 
Um, honey, would you mind closing that for me? Oh, oh my goodness, we got a lot of stuff in the mail. He just brought the mail in. Watch your step, Ninja Man. It's kind of treacherous over yeah, there. <laughs> anyway, so y'all, they sent me a note and said it didn't it didn't go through. Well, that was on the tenth of March. Okay, they said we'll run it again on the twentieth, and I'm like, what? So I called and they said, yeah, we're just going to run it again on the 20th. And I'm thinking, y'all don't get it. I do these videos. I need my, I need my, um, thing. Well, on the 20th, it didn't go through because silly me, I put in the wrong number. I, I had a digit off. I'm just, I was so upset over it. I had a digit off. So I call and because my email then said, you lost out. So y'all, if if something happens to your card, if your card expires, whatever, make sure that you update it because now I had to wait not only after the 10th, but I had to wait now after the 20th. And then they said they weren't even going to do it. They said, just good luck next month. Well, uh-uh. So I called and y'all, the girl said, I can fix it. Don't worry. And I was one digit off. And she sent it out, and and it and it came, okay? And I just want y'all to know how much trouble it was. Don't let it happen, okay? Do not try this at home. So that's another thing I learned, but that was last month. So this came really late. It came, like, last week. Well, since I've done my live. Okay, um, the upcoming Paper Pumpkin. And y'all know I don't usually do Paper Pumpkin on these, on these videos, but this is fun. And I haven't opened it yet, so I thought I'd open it with y'all. Okay, so this is um, this is what we can create here. They gave us these free stencils that everybody's just hooting and hollering over. I have not seen these yet. Let's see what they are. Um, we'll do it this way. And, oh, this is kind of cool. We got clouds. And we've got, oh, that is really cool. I love that. We got mountains, y'all. And... Y'all, I'm going to have to be using these and showing y'all how. Because this, these are these are awesome stars and a sunburst. So that's that's the freebie. And the sponge. Y'all saw me sponging on my little, um, my little tie-dye guy. Okay, and here are the stamps. They have uh, trees and flowers. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Here's to you. All the best for a happy and healthy and prosperous new year. May your journey through life take you to many new and exciting places. Um, baseball will be June. Oh, thank you, Dana. Yes, yes, yes. I was just racking my brain. Yes, the one that they they um, charge us for on the 10th of April is ice cream. Um, and Or is that the one? I think it's charging a little later. Y'all, I'm tired. Okay, um, Calypso Coral. Y'all know I love these little ink spots. Thank you, Dana. See, y'all. Y'all are just so helpful. Okay, um, let's see if I can get this out of here. Y'all, these boxes come in all kinds of handy. All kinds of handy. I'm going to put that up there. Poor Ninja Man. He could have broke his neck in my studio. Uh-oh. All right. Um, they printed it upside down, y'all. Look, how about that? Okay, um, here's to you instructions, but y'all know, sometimes we follow instructions and sometimes we don't. So y'all, we went to my son's house this past weekend and I had to, um, I had to get a house sitter, y'all, because we can't take our puppy dogs. Um, he doesn't like dogs in the house and he definitely doesn't want dogs in the bed. So I'm like, um, okay, well, and for a while we thought he was allergic to dogs. But um, we found out it, it's more uh, food-related reactions that he's having more than an allergy. Um, Y'all, we always get Stampin' Dimensionals charging later because of the delivery pro Thank you, Dana. Yes. Okay, so the ice cream ones will be charged later. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so these are the Stampin' Dimensionals, and they're the minis, and they're so cute. And we got a little twine. And we've got little envelopes here. I like these. They're kind of rustic looking. I like this kind. Oh, y'all. 
Oh, these are the little liners for the envelopes. How cool is this? A long time ago, Stampin' Up! sold uh, envelope liner die. And I still use mine, y'all. It, um, it has three sizes in it, like the bigger ones, and then this size. Come on now, get in there. Get down in there. There we go. Um, they have uh, the regular envelopes, and then they have this size, and then the, the little three by three, I think it is. Um, so what you would do here is you would glue it here, okay, and then fold it down. You would fold it like that, and you you don't you don't put glue down down in here. Does that make sense? So you're not going to glue it down in there. You're just going to glue it right here. So let's just do that. Let's, let, I'll show you. Um. So I don't. Remember. Oh yeah. So we went to our sons, and we got a. Um, we have a house sitter, and she came and stayed with the puppies. And I don't know if they had a chicken wing moment or not. I don't. Um, now, I've put the glue on there. I'm going to fold this over. That's just a good way to do it so that it definitely fits, okay? And, of course, I got it too far over, but who's? what are they going to do? Ask for a refund? I don't think so. Um, so we went down there. It's a four-hour drive. And, y'all, Ninja Man and I, literally, we don't go places and do things. And, y'all, we are toast. We are worn slap out. Okay, these are the little panels that we can put on our cards. On these cards, there's three, I think. One, one, two, three, four. There's four of these, okay? And those are going to go on the blue ones, I guess. I mean, I'm thinking they are. Yeah. Oh, 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 there's more stuff, y'all. Okay, and then this one, these have their own little, little picture on them. Uh, cut the liner to fit just the top of the envelope and use the rest of the paper as designer paper. Oh, great idea. Yes, you could do that. Um, yes. Just cut. What Dana's saying is do this. Just take your liner and just kind of cut about like that, okay? So, yeah, so you can do that and then just have it, you know, just... I wish this was scored before I started folding on it. But there you go. Okay? And then you have this extra piece that you can use for something else. Okay. Cool, cool. Yes. Um, so, y'all, we're just toast. We're so tired. We haven't... We, we just... We nap a lot, y'all. We've worked our butts off our whole life. And... And now we're retired and we just, we tend to take naps. So when I go on my retreat, I know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to say, hey girls, I got to go take my nap. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm go take my nap. But it's okay. It's all right. Because everybody there understands. Um, so we got these little cutouts here, little mountains and stuff. So cute, so cute. Got little tags here. And this is the paper pumpkin kit. And it comes every month. You can, you can, um, take a break. You don't have to get it every single month. You can get more than one a month. You can buy it by the year. You can buy it by the three months, by the six months, however you want to do it. But um, look at these. This is laser cut. These trees, so pretty. Look at this, y'all. Look how fine they are. Fine little laser cuts. Come on now. Come on out. Come out. Come out, little trees. Come out. Come out. Y'all hear my dog snoring in the background. There we go. There, that's not the chicken nugget. I mean the chicken um chicken wing dog. That's the other dog. Twenty two a month, Dana. Okay, thank you. Dana, I need you over here. <laughs> thank you. Clearly I was not very well prepared tonight. It, um but yeah, I, I y'all, I I'm telling you, I got everything packed today and I and all of a sudden I was like, oh, it's Tuesday. So that's why we're just kind of going a little crazy, okay? Just a little, just a little bit crazy. All right, we're just going to make one of these and see how we like it. How about that? How about it, y'all? How about it? All right, I'm just going to put this little front on here. I guess I should look at the directions, shouldn't I? I don't know if I should or not.
Because if I look at the directions, I'll find out I've screwed it all up. <laughs> but that's okay, right? No judgment zone, y'all. No judgment zone. Hold on. You know what? Your directions, like this, first of all, they show you what they want you to make, okay? Which you can, you can pay attention and do it right, or you can do it like me and just slap it all on there. <laughs> and then inside, it's got written directions and pictures, too. So, I mean, it's super simple, y'all. Super simple, okay? <laughs> Why, that's no fun, right? Um, and then it tells you what all is in here. And everything coordinates with the stamping spot you're being given. And everything all everything coordinates with everything. And the color this, this month is Calypso Coral. And that's one of the shades of it. It's not exactly that dark. Hold on, where'd it go? I don't even know where I'll put it. But it's here somewhere. Here it is. Um, the Calypso Coral is more the inside here. That orangey looking. Well, you know, like that. Okay. Um, but everything coordinates with it. Okay, so we are just going to put this little guy together. Y'all, I have such a mess. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me move some of this over so y'all can see what we're doing. Okay, come here. Go back over there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, now I'm just saying you could, if you wanted to, with your bad self, you could put this tree right here. You could, right there, you know, but you don't have to, right? And besides, the the actually, the other card calls for that. Let's show you. Let me show you how that one does. We're going to fold it right there. And then this little tree is supposed to go uh, like, let's see how they got it. Um, they've got it kind of like this. Yeah. See, this is what I'm looking at, y'all. Boop, right there. So we might do that one in a minute. But right now we're working on this guy. And what they want us to do is stamp happy birthday three times. Well, I don't think you need to drill it into somebody three times. I think if you just say happy birthday, that would be all right. Let me grab my Calypso Coral because I don't want to open my ink spot. <coughs> Excuse me, unless I have to. And let's see what we want it to say. Here's to you. All the best in heaven. Congratulations. Let's see. This is April, May. I'm trying to think of who needs who needs a greeting. Okay. And I really don't know of anybody with a that needs a happy birthday right now. Oh, that's just too big for that. Okay, fine. Wouldn't you know the one I pick, right? All right, let's do happy birthday. Oh. All right, here we go. Now, y'all know when you get your, um, when you first get your photopolymer stamps, they're, they've got a little finish on them, okay? And you kind of want to, you kind of want to get that off. So I've got a little baby wipe here that was not a good idea at all because it was dry. Hold on. Was not a good idea. Let me fix that. Oh, dear, y'all. Oh, de 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 dear. It's just that kind of night. It's that kind of night, y'all. And this is why I want to craft with y'all, because I want you to see how things don't always go perfect. Right? If you want to see how not to do it, hang around. Okay, so because it's photopolymer, I'm going to use the little mat underneath. And this is the um, Stampin' Pierce mat. And I'm going to get my little ink I'm going to check it and make sure I got all that. Oh, good, I did. Oh, dear. Wait a minute. What's going on there? Hold on. Okay. I had a little bit of uh, stragglers hanging around from my from my little huggies. Um, Y'all, I got, I got to get close to it. Sorry. Um, Heidi, I need a friendly greeting for my surgery. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay. Y'all, I love that font. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Can't we just talk about how pretty that is? Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. Whew. So, um, yeah, so we went and visited my son and his wife and children. They got three little kids. And y'all, it was so cool. 
on Saturday. We went Friday, came home Sunday. They just live, like I said, about four hours away. And I really wanted to catch up with some friends, but it just there just wasn't enough time. Was not enough time. Um, but on Saturday, they were like, we want to go uh, do this. They want to take the kids to this pet adoption event. And Angela, I like that font too. Yeah, it's very cheerful, isn't it? Just a sweet little happy birthday. Um, but yeah, so so they were like, we want to take the kids to this to this pet adoption thing. And I said, they're gonna want they're gonna want pets. And they're like, we know, but they know that we're not gonna get any. And and the kids do. They know that. It's so sweet. They're gosh, they're such good kids. They really are. We're gonna use these little Stampin' Dimensionals, y'all. Cute as a button. Cute, cute. Okay, and they come with your paper pumpkin. Sometimes we get big ones. Sometimes little ones. And I'm going to use three and just put put this little greeting, pop it up a little bit. And this is how simple it is to make these cards, y'all. So I was thinking, boy, there's going to be some upset little kids, right? Okay, no. They went and they saw it was it was all puppy dogs, which is good because I said I don't need to see them because if there's a kitty cat, I'm gonna want to bring it home. And Ninja Man says, Well, that that's not you know, that's not gonna do you any good. You can want all you want. He don't want me to have a kitty cat because I got so many kitty cats on on social media. Uh Teresa is housing some of my kitty cats right now. So basically if I meet your kitty cat on on Facebook or Instagram or anywhere, it's my kitty cat too. Um, <laughs> so I got like a thousand, right? So we go and and y'all, the kids were so good. And little Jack, he's six. The lady that runs the Humane Society, she came over, almost had tears. I mean, she was like, that is the sweetest child. There was this... Um, pit bull mix looking dog. So the, um, I'm going to make another card y'all. As soon as my phone, my phone, um, is, see what it's doing? Yeah. Um, thank you, Teresa. Oh, see, Heidi's got two more cats. Um, thank you, Dana. Thank you, Heidi. Yeah. So while it's booting up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish telling you. So the lady comes over, she's got like tears in her eyes and thank you, Chris. And, um, She's like, that is the sweetest child. He said, the, the dog's name was Cookie Monster. I don't know why, because so many other names would have suited him just fine. But, um, but yeah, she said, he because he was sitting right there beside the, the dog, and it was, it was well-trained. It was a sweet dog. And um, she said that Jack, the little six-year-old, he was like, Will he still be available in 15 years when I'm a man? He said that is the sweetest thing she has ever heard. He wanted to come back in 15 years when he was a man. Whew! Thank y'all for hanging out and waiting on all that mess. Heavens, it tried to tell me. It tried to tell me, but I didn't know what that meant. I never saw it before, but y'all, I forgot to plug my phone in. And it was already draining. Okay, so we finished this one. We're going to whip up this one real quick. I'll show y'all how quick we can whip this up. What this one wants is, um, gosh, it looks like it wants things at the top. I don't know if I like those, but we'll see. And then here's to you and little squiggly. Oh, y'all, it wants a whole lot of stuff. We'll just see what we want to do, right? Right, people, right. Okay. I'm just going to use my, um, my Tombow glue again. Uh-oh, hold on. And let me tell y'all. Y'all know that I donated a bunch of cards to the first responders and um, I took them to the fire station and um, a lot of it was paper pumpkin cards. Y'all, I love to make the cards and I, and I love even more to give them, right? Y'all see I'm having trouble picking this up because I don't, I really don't want glue all over my hands. There we go. Wow, that just laid down like it was supposed to. Huh, who knew? Okay. Yes, something else I learned, Lisa. Thank you. Yes, I, another thing I learned this week. Yes. See, I can always count on y'all. 
I can always count on my on my homie G's over here in in crafting land. Now I'm I'm looking, y'all. I'm trying to find the rest of my pieces because I got a little crazy. I should not have packed before I went live. I should have waited. And I kind of was waiting, and then I was like, why am I waiting? <laughs> well, now we know, right? Where'd my little cardboard things go? Hold on, y'all. They're coming. They're coming. I'm almost there. Almost got them. Yay! Here they are. What did I say? What did I tell you? Oh, y'all, we also got these, these little, um, these little dots. Heidi, sometimes doing what you want on these cards is the best option. You are so creative in your cards. Be Aw, you're so sweet, Heidi. Thank you. Aw, your check is in the mail. No. <laughs> okay, so this wants the here's to you, but you know what? I think I'm going to say happy birthday again because I really think that that was pretty. I really like that font. So we're just going to say happy birthday again. Boop, boop, boop. Because, you know, we always need birthday cards, right? Oh, y'all, I got to get up on it. Hold on, hold on. Boop. Uh, see, I didn't do it right. Hold on. There we go. Okay. The second, the, the first one I did, which is one on the bottom. Marilyn, hey, I wanted, I was about to text, I mean, message you today. Oh my goodness. Pray for me. I sure will. Let me just stop what I'm doing just a minute. Dear Lord, you know Marilyn's needs, oh Lord, and I just ask you, God, wrap your arms around her. Whatever she needs, oh Lord, you know those needs, and I just pray, dear God, right here and now, that you will just let her know you are there. You are there for her, oh Lord, and just put your wondrous arms around her and protect her. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Marilyn, I will continue praying for you, too. Okay? All right. I'm sorry, y'all. I have a little cold, but it's not its not COVID, I promise. It's not. Um, Marilyn, I'm going to be uh, sending you a message. Um, Dana, best part is you can make them how you want. Exactly, right? Right? I love that. And you can go on Pinterest and see. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. And, and see how other people are making them, y'all. You can. Okay, we're going to put the happy birthday, the happy birthday, and then we had our, we had our little, our little twine, which y'all know I just took things apart over here. Prayer, amen, yes, thank you, Nyoka, thank you, Dana. Yes, we are here as a, as a uh, group of, of folks that believe in the power of God, I'm telling you. He knows what she needs. Oh, Heidi waiting on my check. <laughs> gotcha. You're welcome, Marilyn. My goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. You were on my heart today. I was I was going to message you, and I have been so swamped with all this stuff I got going on over here. And I and I I just should have messaged you. You were on my heart for some reason. Next time I'm just gonna stop and pray for you if I don't have time to to sit down and and send a message or something. All right, y'all, I'm putting this twine down and I'm just holding it down with these little Stampin' Dimensionals, which is not going to go well. Um, I can tell you that right now, but here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sniffling a little bit. I've been, I've just been sniffly, y'all. It, it's, it's not, it's not COVID. It's not. I can still smell and taste and feel and see and all those things. Okay, this is why it's not going to go well. I mean, I'm going to make it go well, all right? Um, they're so tiny, I'm I'm taking the, the top off with my boom, 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 scary dental tool, all right? And now I'm just going to, I'm going to pop it over here too so that it will, I'm making it go well. Okay, there we go. Whew, and now we're going to stick this down. Have a birthday, you tool. Oh, dear, I'm sorry. That was, <laughs> we used to sing that in, in my family. Because we went, um, we went somewhere and they were singing happy birthday and they, they said, have a birthday, you'll too. And we just about died laughing. So we've been saying it ever since. Okay, there we go. We got the little ropey thing on there, which is what they asked for y'all. Oh, look, hello. See, this is how you lose stamps y'all. That's how you do it. Okay. Um, 
So we got the here's to you with the little swirly. You see the little swirly? Yeah. Um, it's not COVID. It's not. It's not, y'all. It's not. <laughs> Naoki is so funny. Okay. And then they want us to put these. So, hey, I'm going to see if we like it. I'm just going to see if we like it, y'all. We're going to start with the green. And these are just cut out. They don't have, um, they don't have adhesive on them. And guess who's packed all their adhesives except for this one. I mean, I didn't need a lot. And y'all, this time, I'm not taking everything I own. I'm not. I usually do, but I'm not doing that this time. All right. Now, this is tricky because I didn't think this out. All right. Got a bit. Oh, stop it. There we go. Mm, hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to get this. There we go. Whew, y'all. Oh, now, now I need to scooch it. Hang on. Hang on. Scooching time. Oh, poo. Oh, y'all, I'm, okay, first of all, I'm not a fan of PBS anymore, but I am watching some of their programs, Masterpiece Theater, that kind of thing. They've got a show called Atlantic Crossing about this Norwegian uh, prince and princess during World War II and how they, uh, she had to escape to the U.S. during the war, and it's true, it's, it's based on a true story. She had to escape uh, to the U.S. during uh, World War II, and Franklin Delano Roosevelt took her in. Oh, where am I going? I'm going um, to near Warm Springs, Georgia, which is where FDR went. That's where he actually died, in, uh, in Warm Springs. But, um, yeah, so, so she, the Norwegian princess and her children, they went... They came to the U.S. to uh, to be safe from the war, right? I'm looking at this. Hold on. Okay, so they want this over here. Where do I get the birds? Oh, I know where I get the birds. Hold on, y'all. The birds are right here. Um, so they had to they had to come to the U.S. and um, and it's just a great story, y'all. It is a great great story. These are itty bitty birds. I'll show you. Show you how itty bitty these are. Do you see how itty bitty? Yeah. All right. Now I got to figure out which way they're flying. You really don't want them to fly upside down. That could be a bad thing, right? So we're going. We're going to try it a couple of ways. I'm going to use black. Okay. Boop. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. I'll show y'all close up. Please hold. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know which one I like better, but we, I think I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it like this. Yeah. All right. Hold on. I'll show you. Please hold. Uh-oh. Boop. There we go. All right. There's our birds. Just tweeting on by. Okay. And they're going to be up here where birds should be. All right. And I don't know if this dude is flying upside down or not, y'all. I just don't know. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the series so much. And I was really sad when it ended. Like it was like a good book, you know. You just kind of like, man, is that the end of it? But the subtitles, y'all. Um, is that what it's called? Not subtitles. The where they're speaking a different language, whatever it's called. I think it is called subtitles. Anyway, yeah. So we're going to uh, a little place near Warm Springs on our uh, crafting uh, retreat some uh, girlfriends and me, and it's really cool. We've been doing this since 2019, and like I said, I missed last, uh, I'm just going to stagger mine because I'm kind of rogue like that, um, but y'all, I really like that. I like it a lot. It says happy birthday. This would be a great dude card, wouldn't it? I love guy cards. They're always a challenge to me. A challenge I enjoy taking on. Um, but yeah, so we're we're going to go there Thursday. I'm coming home Monday. And um, yeah, and that'll be, that'll be fun. I can't wait. I can't wait to see my friends. Um, I would put this card in here because of the, the um, flowers. Okay, so that would go together. And this one I would use this insert and like Dana suggested 
I will cut it. I'm going to cut this one a little lower. Um, don't think it makes it. I don't think it makes a difference either. I think it's it's fine either way. Um, I'm going to go the little lower with this one, so we'll have some paper left over. Okay, and I hope I went low enough. I don't know, but um, but y'all save paper where you can so you can use it later on. Yeah, yeah, that went low enough. Look, that's going to be pretty. Hold on. Let me, let me fold this, y'all, because because that crease makes a big difference. Viva la différence. These are the double-sided dots I meant to tell you. Thank you, Nyoka. Thank you, Marilyn. Um, the double-sided uh, dots, um, glue dots is what we call them, and they come on a roll, or they come on these little sheets in your paper pumpkin. And, um, y'all, the boxes for paper pumpkin... You can keep your um, you can keep your supplies in those, or um, you can you can keep them in something else. But I would suggest that you always, always, always um, see how this looks. Now it looks like it goes all the way down in there, but see what I'm saying? And then we're gonna fold it on that crease we just made right here, and. There you go, right there. And then this guy will go in there. What do you think? Aren't these pretty? So yeah, if if you are not yet subscribed to Paper Pumpkin, just let me know and I will hook you up. And another last thing I wanna show you, and it's about, about time to say toodles, is the new catalog, y'all. Um, if you've ordered from me in the past um, year, I guess, um, you should be receiving one of these in the mail. And I sent I sent catalogs out to some very fortunate people that have ordered from me. I put these tabs... Oh, hello. I just put my stamps on the floor. Um, I put these tabs on, and I had this laminated at the office store, and they put on my binding... And that's just what I do every year. And this is my wish list. It's just part of it, y'all. I don't want to get too crazy. This is part of my wish list. And I can't show you the inside. Nayoka, I love my paper pumpkin, too. Thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. And, oh, and don't forget, I'm going to tell y'all every week things I've learned. And this week it was chicken wings. And uh, what else was it, Nayoka? Oh, some, you said something else I learned. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> I guess I need another lesson in it. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so y'all, I'm looking forward to my little crafting retreat and I'm going live at one o'clock on Thursday with Kathy Bo's Crafting Show right here on, uh, on my Creatively Blessed page. And guess what? Thank you, Dana. I'm going to be cooking. Y'all, I... Anything can happen. Anything can happen. I've, I'm going to be cooking something. I'm going to be throwing it all in. Oh, Nyoka, I know. I want all of it. I want so much in here. But y'all, on my Kathy Bowes Crafting Show, I'll be at the retreat house, and I'm going to be putting something in a crock pot, and y'all got to see what it is because you ain't going to believe it. All right? Thanks so much, y'all. Thank you, Christine. And, um... Lisa, thank you. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Love you guys, and uh, God bless. And y'all, please, now y'all pray for my friend Marilyn, okay? All right. Love y'all. Toodles.